Hello and welcome to the first episode of Super Hostile Online Season 3. So, um, yep, Kron here. And it has been quite a while. Uh, especially in terms of Super Hostile Online. Uh, as you can see, as you already heard there. Uh, this is Season 3 now, not Season 2 anymore. Uh, for one, the server's gotten a big update. Now, it still looks quite a bit like, um, how things were in Season 2. But, uh, since it's both been a while and a lot has been changed, we're now in Season 3. <laughs> so anyways, as you can see already, uh, I'm rocking a new skin here. Uh, it's both a mix of a skin I did not make and of a skin I did make. It's mostly of a skin I did make. As well as some, uh, with some touch-ups here and there. Uh, so anyways. So some upgrades to... Uh, SHO 2.0. Uh, for one, it's a lot easier to get back XP. Especially if you've got a lot of, uh, you've reached a very high level... Uh, like I have here, 104. Now, this is basically a lot because of this new system here. Uh, which lets me uh, acquire a lot of XP in a short amount of time. So, with the three stacks of XP bottles... Boom. To 106. Just like that. And... That's just the start of it. With the 10 gold ingots that I've got, we can get 1,500. Boom! <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. So, the only... The catch about that, though... Uh, there's been a change. Um, pretty sure the wool dungeons are out now. Because... You can only get to a... Higher tier... Uh... What should I call them? Higher tier levels of the um, the three different paths here: fighter, defender, and scout. If you have a certain amount of wolves, a certain amount of wool, I think it's the right way to say that. I I don't know wolves. Why the heck not? Um. So, anyways, I can't get to tier four yet because I haven't gotten any wool uh, whatsoever. So, anyways. Uh, currently, Vex is online, so there's a bit of a a bit of a commotion at Valgard Square there. But uh, anyways, uh, also uh, awesome little thing that was uh, added are these charms. Uh, this one I've got on me. Uh, I just got recently. I think it was the the first day that I started playing SHO again. Uh, this charm of speed. Which uh, boosts both your your speed and your attack speed uh, by 15%, which is really nice. Uh, when it's in your offhand, that is. Uh, so you can't really use your shield. Uh, or be all that efficient in combat. So it's more like something that you would use to get around quickly. So we are going to head to a new area here. Uh, originally, I was going to head head to the dojo, but instead, we're going to head to the um. What the heck was this place called again? The sunken lake, the dried up lake. I don't remember. But as you can see, a lot doesn't seem like a lot's changed here. But, um, uh, natural spawning is now off, it seems. At least from what I have, uh, what I, what I can, uh, speculate from what I've observed since playing again. Uh, I have not played Minecraft in a long while, not since the summer. Uh, if, I, to, to be more specific, probably not since... I don't even remember what the last the last uh, I think it was in Aquarium UHC. 
Okay, so still a lot here hasn't changed at all. Good to know. So, what seems to have replaced the uh, the natural spawning are these um, these semi wide area spawners, which make certain things a lot better and other things a lot worse, <laughs> like um, dojo runs, for example. Um. Where the heck did I get this golden carrot from? Did I pick this up from somebody by accident? Oh well. Um. Uh, in the case of dojo runs, there are spawners now inside the um, uh, both the uh, the dragon bone cave as well as the crumbling ruins. Uh, that you have to go through through to get to the dojo. And those, both of them can be tough. Dragonbone Cave stays tough, I should say. And Crumbling Ruins is much tougher. Uh, if you're fairly new, you definitely don't want to go alone. Now... I say that in the case of the Crumbling Ruins because there's there's this awful void hole that's been placed. Void hole. I guess I didn't pronounce that fully. Uh, that can just utterly screw you up. Big time. Uh, but the reward from the dojo is, I would say, far much more rewarding than what you'd get uh, last time around. Uh, mainly because, as you can see, uh, not relying on wooden weapons anymore. Uh, these two iron axes I found in a chest nearby. Uh, but stone weapons are much more common now. And wooden weapons... I think they're still around, but, um, uh, it's more like a last case, uh, a, a, a last resort. I don't know if that made any sense, <laughs> if I even worded that properly, but, uh, anyways. You see, there's the uh, there's the uh, spawners doing their thing there. So, anyways, I wanted to go here rather than show you what you'd get from the new dojo, uh, which I can already. No, I've already said that it's a lot better than it used to be. Uh, anyways, as you examine examine the books, you determine this to be the ruins of a very old mage's library. While nothing of much of value remains, it appears th what? there was w one thing of interest, a magical teleporter to something called the Old Kingdom. Okay. So, something expedition. Alright. Draconic Ossuary, Old Kingdom. Examining the books, you find a tattered mage's journal. It seems to be ancient. Many parts are unable to be read, but you can make out the following. Something is a silly idea. Magic is very personal, and a university for magic is misguided. But they are determined to, found, to have found their university of arcane enchants. Next week, my husband and I will venture deeper into this Tyronian ruin. Hopefully we can figure out more about the people of blank. Huh. Okay, University of Arcane Enchants. Obviously a reference. Uh, to an area in Spellbound Caves. Okay, so this goes to... A chest. Oh. What's that? Oh! Oh, that's a mob! Bone Archer, I think I, that says. Oh, wow. 
Holy crap. <laughs> What's to say? Before you lies a massive chamber from the darkness above, great chains strain taut, holding a huge dragon skull. Yeah, no kidding. Like the great Agapantha, this skull also has latent magic burning in its eye sockets. Unlike the single horn of the skull of Agapantha, this beast has two smaller horns on either side of its great head. Huh. Okay. Oh. Alright, water. Nope. Oh good. Okay, so I can't make it with the speed charm. Alright, so this is a one-way trip. Alright, here we go. Use dynamic landing here to get an idea of what what's around us here. Alright, no mobs. Okay, this goes deeper. Okay, parkour. Looks like we'll be dealing with some bone archers in just a bit here. Those two are going to go at it. Alright, there we go. Not too bad. Okay. want to watch out for holes here. Okay. Oh. Another thing I forgot to mention, um, this is relating to, uh, the three classes. Um, at the start of each night, uh, you'll get a particular, uh, potion that relates to your class. And for defenders, it's this potion of minor regeneration, uh, since as a defender, you hold the line. Uh, it's regeneration one for a minute and a half, and it also uh, has the curse of binding and also the curse of vanishing on it. So obviously, if you die, it goes away. Uh, so magically evaporates. Ooh. Yikes! <laughs> Don't want my computer dying on me in the middle of a recording. Uh, magically evaporates at dawn or dusk. Okay, so it could be either. All right. Randomly respawning loot chest. Okay, so there's nothing in it right now. Dang it. That's too bad. Uh, you know what? Let me just toss some junk in here. Since you're no good to me anyway right now. <laughs> Alright. And this just heads right back down. Okay. So, this time, we will go this way. Test our luck again. Alright. Okay, this goes into the chamber here. Uh. There's a bone archer. Okay, so this goes into some kind of s waterway. Huh. Alright. 
interesting. Okay, so bone archers are pretty easy to take out. I've got a power one bow on me. Oh, who's shooting at me now? Another one that just spawned, I imagine. Okay, so this does. Oh, he's up there. Oh! That's a wool. Okay. Alright. So that's what this is for. Huh, okay. That goes. Oh. It looks like we're gonna have to go that way. All right, more bone archers. Okay, they've got knockback resistance. Oh, he dropped a bow. Is it enchanted? Yes, it is. Bone archer bow. All right, power one. Okay. That's not bad. Oh. Okay. Alright, so we'll continue going along down this way. Alright, so hopefully we can make the jump onto this ladder. We've got our knockback resistance on us, so... What's up here? I'm sure some of these extra pathways lead to loot chests. Oh, okay, this isn't actually <laughs> go to anywhere special. Okay, come on, get out of the stupid cobweb. Thank you. Alright. Okay. That works just fine for me. Okay, this is messy. I'm gonna make use of my knockback resistance here and hope. Dearly hope. I do not get shot off this ladder. Okay, good. Whew. go. Okay, yeah, so this is where the other side of the bridge leads to. Oh, okay, a bit of lag. Alright, hopefully that does not continue. Alright, so how does this go? Let's make use of our charm here. Oh, hold on a second. It needs to be in the offhand. There we go. <gasps> wow, that was immensely stupid. <laughs> uh. Gosh darn it. Don't you just love when that happens? Don't you just love it? Greatest thing in the world. Uh. Okay, two of these guys. Oh, okay. I'll take that. And I definitely need to regenerate. Oh, 
Okay, get up the ladder. There we go. All right, not bad. Almost back where we were. And almost out of cooked rabbit here. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, good. All right, make use of the regen from the saturation. And, ooh. Okay, some parkour to get there. Oof. Okay. <laughs> yes! Bingo! You have the white wool and now have a total of one wool. Sweet! Alright, awesome. Use the golden carrot just yet. Oh, bone warriors. Okay. All right. Bone warrior boots, protection one. <laughs> Not a charming amount of durability left there. Or you could say it is charming. Okay, I really shouldn't stay here. Because they're definitely spawning right nearby. Alright. So... Could just jump down. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, a decorative trophy. Okay, need to take care of this guy. All right, I need to get over there. Ouch. Okay, oh, looks like we need to do some more parkour. From the looks of it, anyway. Oh, of course he's following me. <laughs> Oh, no, there's a ladder here. Oh, this just goes right back up. Okay. <laughs> oh, actually, that's not too bad. Or is it, actually? All right. Make this jump across. Okay. There we go. Now we'll head back uh, this way again, where we, the path we first chose. All right. So going through here, oh, right. Ugh. Okay, what's this? Nothing. <laughs> All right. So, that's the first wool dungeon. That wasn't too bad at all. I could really.
really do without this annoying parkour. But, uh, I guess it is what it is. Yeah, this, I, I just find that so irritating. That's right. Take the thorns and then some. All right. Still nothing. All right. Well, that's all she wrote for this first one. Oh. Ruined library. Okay. Good. Nice. Bada bing, bada boom. Sweet. Okay. So for the trip back, we'll head across the bridge here. Now there's a, a couple of different paths that split off here at this point. Uh, there's one that goes down this way that has something to do with spiders from what I was able to see. I really didn't want to go down though. Just because it seemed to involve both spiders and void. Uh, and there's this here, which uh, personally seems more appealing. <laughs> now, whether or not it actually is out of the two. I guess we'll find out in due time. Is this Kruhan Martel is focused on events for Oh. <laughs> Speaking of Mottown, I don't know how many events have been done uh, since the February one. That was the uh, the last thing I recorded for my second season of Super Hostile Online. But uh, I think there was at least one done in March. But uh, beyond that, I do not know. All right, here we are at the Garden of the Three Paths. With our one wool. So, uh, got to 112 levels there. Uh, okay. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, there we go. And it looks like we're just out of time for this episode. So, sweet. 32 hearts. Oh, that's Defender 6. <laughs> okay, no wonder. Okay, so that's... That's level 4. That's level... Okay. I did not realize that. Okay. So I I'd still need to get two more wall. All right, sweet, awesome. All right, I'm definitely gonna have to put that up uh, in an item frame back in my spot in Valgard instance three. All right, so that's gonna do it for this first episode. Of, uh, first little uh, super episodes episode of season three of SHO. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.